Welcome back everybody, Drone Tech here, and today I have a clip from an interview between Willie Geist and Dr. Fauci on MSNBC. And after some drooling, sycophantic, cult-like adulation, Geist actually asked him a pretty decent question about the reopening of Texas and the doom and gloom that we all heard was going to come from that. Also, before we start, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps this channel. Back on the show this morning, particularly talking some baseball. <laughs> Let me just say that I absolutely hate when these guys say things like that. Like, oh, let's talk some baseball. Um, I want to say that I got my first shot of the vaccine yesterday. I feel great. Mild soreness in my arm, but it feels good. I'll go back in four weeks for my second dose. <laughs> Wait, it feels good? I mean, come on now. It's a coronavirus vaccination. It's not a shot of heroin. He can't just pat himself on the back for getting the vaccination. No, no, no. He has to say that it felt good. My wife and I, who went together yesterday up in Suffern, New York, felt nothing but gratitude for the doctors and the scientists and the public health officials like yourself who, who brought us to this day. So I know I speak for a lot of people in this country when I say that. With that... Oh my God, man, why don't you just head on over to Dr. Fauci's office there and wash his feet, why don't you? Said, you mentioned Texas and that full ballpark in Arlington yesterday. There was a lot of concern last month when Texas effectively opened up, dropped all those restrictions and said, it's back to life. And if you go to Texas, as you know, it looks like 2019. The restaurants and the bars are full and open. The ballparks are full. And yet... We've seen cases and hospitalizations since then continue to tick downward. So what do you make of that as all of us look around and sort of try to consider how safe it is to get back to normal life? Yeah, you know, it's it can be confusing because you may see a lag and a delay because often you have to wait a few weeks before you see the effect of what you're doing right now. Uh, just to point out, it's been a month. It's It's been over a couple weeks, so... I mean, if there was going to be an effect, you would definitely see it by now. You know, there, there are a lot of things that go into that. I mean, when you say that they've they've had a lot of uh, activity on the outside, like ball games, I'm not really quite sure. It could be they're doing things outdoors. You know, it's very difficult to just one on one compare that. You just have to see in the <laughs> long range. I hope they continue to tick down. Okay, I just want to kick it back here real quick and just replay this one part. One second here. Uh, activity on the outside, like ball games. I'm not really quite sure. It could be they're doing... <laughs> I'm not really quite sure. Well, Fauci isn't sure about a lot, isn't he? Let's not forget here that in early January, Dr. Fauci said that we had nothing to fear from this virus. And then a little bit later, he said that people shouldn't be out there wearing masks. He said that there's no reason to be walking around with a mask when you're in the middle of an outbreak. Wearing a mask might make people feel a little safer and it might even block a droplet, but it's not providing the perfect protection that people think it is. And often there are unintended consequences, people fiddling with their mask, touching their face. But then he changed his own mind on that, despite the fact that his earlier stated facts weren't wrong. I think later that he claimed that he was trying to stop a run on masks that would limit the number that would be available to medical workers. But the thing is, nothing that he said before was wrong. And he even stated that during a 60 minutes propaganda session that he, quote, didn't regret anything he said. But if he lied about that and doesn't regret it, what else has he rationalized lying about? Then in mid-February, during an interview he said that the flu was a bigger threat and then later changed his mind on that as well then around mid-march during an interview with jonathan carl he said that normal life would be returning quote within several weeks to a few months for sure and it doesn't even stop there his numbers on the levels of vaccinations needed to achieve herd immunity have been changing as the months pass he started at 60%, then to 70%, then to 75%, and now it's at 85%, and it'll probably change from there. I don't know. Maybe this Fauci guy isn't the shimmering man god folks like Willie Geist present him as. Almost like the media's lying to the American people to push a political agenda. All right, folks, I have a busy day with the family today, so just a short one, but I do want to remind you all that I am on other platforms like Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble. Come check me out there just in case. As always, thanks for watching and make sure to check back tomorrow for a new video.